Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't already know me or for those of you who are on my channel for the first time, hi! My name is Yasmin. So if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you would already know that I go to McGill University in Montreal, but right now I'm on summer break in the UAE and don't get me wrong guys, I love it here. Like I'm having the summer of my life, but I am so ready to get my back in Montreal because uni's starting so soon and I need to get back on my routine, you know? I need to be in my city, I need to be in my apartment. I have accustomed to a certain lifestyle and I just, I need to get back to that. Like I've been here for a couple of months and it's time to leave. <laughs> oh my god guys, I have recorded so many like travel vlogs or airport vlogs for you guys in just the past couple of months so Y'all already know the drill. This video is going to be me taking you guys all around with me on my trip back to Montreal. Hey vlog, I am on my way to go see my friends for dinner and this is gonna be my last goodbye. Hey Hi, vlog! So basically, so I'm Yasmin, I'm 18 years old. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button. Notification <laughs> <laughs> Notification. What did I say? Notification. <laughs> We're at cheesecake right now because the last thing that I'm gonna see Ian. Thank you. Say hi. You're gonna be famous. How are you? What? Yum. Ten out of ten. <laughs> but it's all yummy. It tastes like candy. Not you like candy. But yeah, not anymore. I, I swear, it's but not as thing. much. I swear, it's no, it's thing. not that. But I think I overate candy. That's now uh, in grade ten when I was five, when I was on a diet. They made me eat You're chicken. Right? They made me eat chicken every single day. You know, because now I don't eat chicken. Yeah, I get PTSD when I eat it. I'm just so happy I made it to those of you. You're famous now. Bro, this brand. Put my link here. Guys, my link is here. Can I? Put your Insta? Sure, but I won't accept. Because I don't know you, I'm not gonna accept. Let me tell you what happened when we walked in. So I was sitting here, and then the lady comes up to Sabine, and then she's like, I think I know which table you're in because you're sexy and your friend is sexy. <laughs> the sexy club. Guys, say hi to the vlogging. Oh, hi. Guys, first goodbye. <laughs> Guys, look at what we did last Me too. We <laughs> made necklaces so it can it's always like be together. Necklaces. Exactly. So we're both Leos, and Ren's name R and my name Y. So I have Leo with an R, and Ren has Leo with a Y. Like, like Yasmin and Ren. Oh, I'm gonna start crying. Okay, I'm gonna cry. Okay. Room is a mess. These are all the pants I know I want to take. These are all the shirts I don't know if I want to take. And then here's my entire closet of stuff I don't know if I want to take. Oh my god, guys, you literally won't imagine. I haven't done anything. I'm still deciding what do I want to pack, what do I want to take, and I have piles of clothes everywhere. And then I made plans with my friends. I'm just like, I'm gonna go out. This is a later problem. And I'm dressed in my PJs and my hair is disgusting. And then my friend calls me and he's like, okay, I'm downstairs. What do you mean? I'm not even close. Too ready. I, I just started. Hey vlog. Oh my god guys, ignore the mess behind me because I literally have not packed for it is 8 p.m. and I have done nothing other than go out all day, which is fine. Okay, so I haven't explained this to you guys, but Etihad Airways kept pushing my flight, so my layover started getting shorter and shorter, and I need so much time in Pearson Airport, like in Toronto, just because I know they're gonna do the COVID stuff and the vaccine stuff and all of that, and customs and immigration is gonna take forever. So I'm on the phone with Etihad Airways, and I've been on hold for like an hour just because I wanna be able to change my second flight, so. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna go downstairs to try to get my hair braided. I don't know if the salon's still open because I don't want to be worrying about what my hair looks like or my hair getting in the way. I just want it out of my face and I'm so stressed out because I didn't make an appointment and I just hope they're available for me. <laughs> hey vlog, you guys won't imagine. I literally still have this entire pile of clothes to pack plus my shoes, plus my jewelry, plus my bags, and, and, and. And it's literally two in the morning and I have to leave at like seven something for my flight, but it's fine. I mean, I'm chilling. All I wanted was to make sure everything was organized. Like I have everything in pouches, everything in bags, and then start packing because I don't know, that's how I like to pack. So I'm fine, I'm chilling. I'm basically done. I just have to do the actual putting everything in the bag. Oh. 
I'm so stressed out. I'm like filling my first bag. I have a little bit of space left, but I still have all of this stuff and all of that stuff and so much more left. And I don't know if it's gonna fit in this bag. And I have a second bag and I have a handbag, but still, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack. The first bag is like five kilos overweight. So I brought Mira in to the rescue. Mira, say hi. Hey. What time is it? It's four in the morning. Baba, say hi. Hi. This is what we do all the time, me and Baba. Right? Baba, are you gonna miss me vlogging in the car after I'm gone? I will. <laughs> Baba, why is your mask on? We're in the car. Yeah. By the way, every time I go to the salon, they tell me that, oh, your hair is falling off. Baba, you blame everything on the straightener. Do you ever see me with straight hair? <laughs> literally won't imagine we've been at the check-in for like an hour and a half two hours one of my bags was overweight right so they just made me open my bags and start moving my stuff around and that was fine and then the check-in literally took forever and that was fine and then they're just like look your first flight is confirmed your second flight isn't confirmed and i'm like what like that literally doesn't make any sense so right now we're literally just sitting in the waiting room waiting for the supervisor to come so she can like figure all of this out and confirm my flight and it's just like really annoying because this airline they always do this i don't want to say that out loud but they literally always do this they always have some sort of issue the guy working at the desk is just like we need to confirm that your bags are gonna arrive to montreal and i'm like yeah i'll update you guys in a little bit I haven't shown you my airport outfit, but I'm literally wearing socks and sandals and I look so funny. And honestly, I don't care. I'm not really the type of person who gets embarrassed, but every single person is looking at me and then they look down at my slippers and then they look back up at me. <laughs> after a 14 hour flight keep in mind there was a two hour delay in our flight the flight wasn't too bad and i'm so glad i'm here the baggage took forever but i picked it up i dropped it at the next belt so it can get on my next flight and then i'm gonna hit some montreal oh my god i don't know if you guys can see this but i finally took off my mask and my face already started breaking out Oh my god guys, you know what's so fun? While I was at Abu Dhabi airport, even though my flight was delayed like two hours, I ran into one of my old friends. Not old friends, but one of my friends that I met in uni. So I don't know, that was fun. I had someone to like chill with in the airport. And I just kind of like worked a little bit on the plane. I edited a video and then the kid sitting next to me was like, are you on YouTube? Yeah, we're chilling. Hey vlog! Okay, so I've just been sitting at my gate for like the past hour and a half. I'm not doing much. I've just been on the phone with a bunch of people. Like I call my mom, just keeping her updated and all of that. I call my grandparents because they live in Dearborn, so we're on the same time zone. And I'm just chatting with my friends. I finally have Wi-Fi after like 16 hours. So I've just been doing that. Honestly, I'm chilling. I'm not doing anything. Low-key, I could eat, but I keep thinking to myself, 
why don't I just wait until I get home and then I'll really work up an appetite and I'll order my favorite food. You literally won't imagine the coincidence. Okay, so my best, 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 best friend in the entire world, her name is Rent. Oh wait, you guys know Rent because you've seen her in the Grease vlog and you see her in all my vlogs anyway. When I was on the plane, I was listening to the song and I was so sad and I was thinking of her, okay, while I was listening to the song. And then when I get to Toronto airport, she messages me and she sends me a TikTok that she made and it was with that song you know and i kept thinking oh my god me and her so telepathic we should begin our boarding process at around 9 30. i'll be happy to answer any questions for you i have a question why do i have this luck today why is every single flight i'm on delayed even when we went to greece all flights were delayed <laughs> that flight was brutal that literally felt like forever i'm like about to go outside to the taxi stand i got all my bags i got everything i'm ready to go home i was supposed to originally arrive at like 7 p.m it's 12 a.m so you guys can imagine how exhausted i am but guys look at what happened to my eye i look so dumb <laughs> okay basically the other day we were out and something fell out of the sky at full speed full pressure right into my eye i don't know what it was was someone throwing a rock did something fall from a tree but it came into my eye and like the bottom of my eye was really swollen and it was really painful so this morning i was trying to search for my eye drops okay like ointments and i accidentally grabbed my medicine that is for ulcers in your mouth you know because it looks the same instead of using my eye medicine for my eye i used my ulcer medicine for my mouth in my eye so now i have to go to the pharmacy Hey vlog, I fully did not update you guys on what happened. I felt so exhausted after my second flight. Like I was literally traveling for like 25 hours nonstop. And I was just so happy to be home. I was so happy to be in Montreal. I love it here. Everything's chilling. The weather is amazing. The people are amazing. The vibe is amazing. I mean, it's only like my third day. Also, you guys saw I had my little breakdown this morning, but I was very upset. Anyways, I don't know what it is. If it's the traveling, if it's the time difference, but I felt so like tired like my body felt so sick today like i felt like i was gonna pass out when i went on my walk so i came home early and i did pass out and i just like canceled my plans and today i'm just gonna have a very chill day but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video just as much as i enjoyed recording it i am finally finally back in montreal and the semester is just about to start literally in a couple of days i know in august i haven't posted as much as i would have liked for you guys but now that i'm back in montreal i can make so many of those montreal and mcgill videos that you guys love so yes yeah, stay tuned i'm so happy to be back and i'll see you guys next week